right, hopefully everything's in focus. Um, hopefully y'all can ignore the barking dog. So today, YouTube, I wanted to show off some of my TM Hunt collection. And the reason being is because I just got one. Well, this is minus one. I loaned one out to a, uh, a good knife loving friend and uh, knife nut, knife crazy, uh, all around great guy. So I loaned it out to uh, Taylor at uh, Ridge Runner Blades. I loaned out my M18 for some video and uh, like show and tell purposes, I guess you'd say, to help, kind of help out his business, help him, you know, hopefully have some of y'all go toward his way and pick up some TM hunting knives from him. But what I wanted to do is I've got a waffle, a raffle winning that I wanted to show off. But first, I wanted to show off, well, yeah, first, we'll just, we'll show off the M14, the uh, toe popper, pretty sweet little uh, half the size of a M18. Um, just an awesome little knife. Um, kind of little <laughs> awesome uh, leather sheath from Todd he makes some dang good sheaths and they smell good too <laughs> so that's one of my waffle winnings um, that and M18 which I said ain't here right now it's on it's out for loan so and then uh, I actually bought one of the little Billy bat axes these things are pretty sweet little 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 gizmos, little gadgets, little uh, box cutters. Um, I don't know if I want to file my nails with it or not, but it might work. Um, sweet little little deal. Uh, so one of my very first TM Hunt purchases was the Magua back from a uh, knife store down in Salisbury. And uh, it was pretty pretty sweet little knife um, I love the green on it <clears throat> and just the blade shape too just just spoke to you just you know it just speaks to me I like that blade shape the just the whole aesthetic of it it came in another leather sheath this is the one my current waffle or raffle winning came in but I swapped it out for a Jofu uh, inside the pocket sheath so that's one I bought way way back when the other I bought, I'm pretty sure I bought it. I don't think I won this off of a, a raffle. But is the uh, Hogwa. Another awesome little pocket fixed blade. Um, great blade shape. Uh, another uh, proprietary sheath, I guess you would say. If you see how that blade shape is, see how they, they match up. This one has been, you can see, it's been well carried and loved. And uh, just awesome little blade. Great. Fits in my big old paw just nicely. Um, as some of the other YouTubers say, uh, uh, you know, good four finger grip there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just a great little pocket knife. Or in, for me, it's inside the pocket. Or no, I'm sorry, it's on the belt. I don't have it inside the pocket for this one for the Hogwa. So uh, the next one, the one my I currently just received from Todd and Spencer and them at. Uh, TM Hunt Custom Knives, and this was Joe Fu's leather work. Uh, if you don't know who Joe Fu is, he is a superb leather sheath maker. Um, makes them for all kinds of knives. But I like to carry, especially the, the Magua, and a couple other fixed blades, I like to carry inside the pocket, right hand side, just in place of a uh, folder. It just, it works really well. I'm trying to get to where I carry only a fixed blade. No folder, with the exception of like my Swiss Army knife or uh, the little bench made folded knife I've got that's a slip joint. Uh, I'm trying to get to the point where I just carry a fold or just carry a fixed blade. And uh, this right here, I believe, might put me in the mood to actually want to do that and carry that out. I'd like to do it for a week, see how it, see how it goes. I think it'd be all right. But anyway, yeah, Joe Fu uh, inside the pocket. So one of the things I've been wanting from Todd, I love his work. I love his, you know, all just everything about it, but I've been wanting a stainless steel. So finally entered a raffle 
um, put my put my money down, put my money in there, and got lucky enough to be called and got to be a be a winner. Um, so this one is the another Magua. It's AEBL steel, and the handle material is just freaking awesome. Uh, it looks like honey. It's like a like a honey, not comb, but like a just a honey colored. And uh, I'm pretty sure that's my Carta in there. That's just awesome looking. And it, every time you look at it, you see something different about it. Like on the back here of the spine, um, like if you're looking down on it, you see these little runners right here, and they're kind of off on the side on top and bottom. But then if you look at it on the top, it kind of splits that. Like you can see it, he did a pretty dang good job on matching these two up because you see how each side comes down and matches up perfectly. And, uh, but yeah, AEBL steel, just an, uh, hopefully gonna be an awesome stainless steel because this fat boy sweats a lot. I hate summertime. God, I hate it with a passion. And these North Carolina hot summer days right now are putting a hurting on this old fat boy. And uh, so my, my butt tends to sweat a little bit. And so that's one of the great things I've been wanting just for an AEBL steel, well, a stainless steel from Todd. I love his work. I love the blade shape, the craftsmanship. Everything is just superb and on, and on par, just, just perfect. Just, uh, but one of the things I was gonna show is this was one of the very first Mogwas I bought and it's been a dang good long while ago. And I just kinda wanna show differences in the blade shape or the handle shapes. Blade shapes are, yeah, the blade shapes are exactly the same. Um, but yeah, the handle just, I wanna show how, let's see if I can get them side by side. And you can see how, let's see here. Let's see if I can do this and not get cut. <laughs> so you can see how thick the green one is compared to the newest one I've got. And that's not a big, you know, downside. This one, this one feels great in the hand, fills up nicely. Uh, that little swell back there in the back, pretty sweet. And this one, another four finger grip on that bad boy. Um, so yeah, it's just, it fits in the hand just right. Even though it's not got that swell on it. Um, just feels lovely. So yeah, uh, I'm out here. It's finally gotten cool. Finally at 8.30 at night. Um, yeah, watch says it's 78 degrees. I don't believe that. I think it's a little cooler, hopefully. But yeah, I just want to show it off. Um, I got one of the donut glow nuts, kind of like uh, Bushcraft Kelso has. It's uh, it's not his, I don't think it's his brand. That I'm not sure, they might make them for him. Um, dang it, and I can't remember the name of it right offhand. But uh, yeah, they, they make some pretty sweet stuff. I think it's funny, I got one of the glow nut, uh, I got four of them, I got two small ones, two bigger ones. And the funny thing is the bigger one I put on my truck keychain or my truck's keychain is, <laughs> I got to looking at it the other day and I was showing my daughter, it's funny cause it's got a hair in it. So it's like, hey, I got a hair in my donut. <laughs> but uh, I'll have to show them off. They glow like crazy. But yeah, I was thinking about putting the, just a little, little one of them on there, just to, you know, spice it up a little bit. But uh, yeah, just wanted to show off my, my current TM Hunt collection. Um, it's growing. I had a bird and trout like a dumb dumb I sold it don't know why but that's another one I'd like to have in stainless I think that AEBL and that little bird and trout would be uh, just be the bee's knees be the be tits as they say <laughs> so uh, I want to try and get a little fire going maybe see if this bad boy will throw a spark um, just for you know poos and giggles but uh, YouTube I thank y'all for watching um, I actually got subscribers. I'm surprised. <laughs> 159, I think, right now. I'm shocked uh, just to see some old fat boy talk uh, about knives and just show off crazy stuff. And it, you know, in kind of a day-to-day -day life, I'm kind of sorta. But anyway, yeah. So that's my TM Hunt collection minus the M18. Like, like I said, it's out on loan. Um, but yeah. If you're looking for a great custom knife, hit up all of Todd's dealers. Go to his website, tmhuntcustomknives.com, I believe it is. 
he has a list of all his dealers there. I know there's some out there that are kind of sketchy, you know. Um, so yeah, just go to his website, go to his Facebook page, um, look him up. It's uh, TM Hunt Custom Knives and Collectibles, maybe, on the Facebook page. I I'm not sure. I can't remember right offhand. You'd think I'd, this is one of the things I, I should have put notes right here, you know, in front of me to give y'all a better, um, give y'all better information. But yeah, look him up. You can find him. He's not hard to find at all. Uh, but yeah, y'all, y'all, YouTube have a have a great one. Um, enjoy your night, your day, your year, what have you. Um, that's it. This uh, fat boy's gonna get a fire started and sweat a little bit outside, <laughs> even though it's a little cooler now. See y'all.